Okay, so this is an example on one D motion, and we are given that a car starts from an initial velocity of 19 meters per second. So let's say V initial is 19 meters per second. So it starts with this velocity and then accelerates with an acceleration of 2.13 meters per second squared. So let's say A is 2.13 meters per second squared. And it does so for 5.60 seconds. So the time interval is 5.60 seconds. In part A of the question, we need to find how far does the car travel in this time interval. So in other words, the question is, what is our x final, the final position of the car, if we take the initial position to be zero. Now, from the lecture, we know that for a constant acceleration, the position is given as x final equals x initial plus v initial delta t plus a delta t square over 2. So in our case, x initial is 0, so we can just say x final is equal to v initial, which is 90, times delta t, which is 5.6, plus a, which is 2.13, delta t squared, 5.60 squared over 2. And if you do the math here, this gives you 140 meters. So it will travel 140 meters in 5.6 seconds. So this is part A. In part B, we need to find the final velocity of the car when it gets to this position. So what is our V final? <coughs> v final is related to V initial as this. V final is equal to V initial plus A delta T. So in our case V initial is 19. A is 2.2. 13 and delta t is 5.6. If you do the calculation, the value that you get is 30.9 meter per second. 